and so to the day when promotion could be sealed. If they don't do it today, Doncaster will have another chance at Torquay on Saturday. But I'm sure they'd like to uh, pull off their promotion in front of their own fans, and here might be the opening. It's Blundell, it's Akin Fenway! That's the goal! That's the goal that could take Doncaster Rovers into Division 2. And it's the 1-2 again of Greg Blundell and Bio Akin Fenwer. Akin Fenwer scores his fourth goal as a Doncaster Rovers player, his third in consecutive matches here at Bellevue, and he is their hero. Well, this forward combination of Blundell and Akin Fenwer is an absolute menace to opponents. And here's the latter now. Mulligan through to Melligan. Mulligan's made a run. And takes again here now. Then he finds Ravenhill. Then it's Mulligan. This is a lovely build-up from Doncaster. Goal number two! Headed in spectacularly here by Paul Green. And Doncaster for certain are now on their way up. A moment for the young man Paul Green, rejected by Sheffield Wednesday. He's going to be playing against them next season. Man of the match at Stoke in the playoff final last year when Doncaster came out of the conference. Now he's going even higher. He's going up to Division 2 with Doncaster Rovers, Paul Green. This is a fairy tale. Doncaster Rovers were playing non-league football 12 months ago. Next season they will be playing second division football. They'll be rubbing shoulders with Sheffield Wednesday and teams like Wimbledon who were in the Premier League two years ago. It's the most astonishing story. And for Dave Penny, for John Ryan, for everybody connected with this club, the president Trevor Milton, all the players, this is a phenomenal achievement. And welcome to the second division, Doncaster Rovers.